everyone today, welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your friggin' host, Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, I'm gonna show you how to take Chevy Silverado steering wheel apart, for freak's sake. Because, good old starting auto records there, had a steering wheel with the uh, volume of steering control, say, for the stereo. So we're gonna get this part installed. I still gotta go see my buddy at Corey and get him to wire up the back of the head unit because I don't feel like doing it tonight. But we'll get these in anyways and I'll show you how things work. So make sure you unhook your battery and wait about a half an hour so you don't have any airbag deployments, Jim. If you look down here, there's a little hole. Right in here there is. And there's a hole on this side. So what you gotta do is you gotta find, there's two little pins. And if you hold your tongue just right, you'll find it. I think that's one. Yep, there's one. And, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna hold my tongue right on, Jim. This one's being tricky, it is. Where are you, fucker? There it is. We got our captain. So there you go. As soon as you find those pins, you can drop the airbag out, you can. So we'll disconnect the airbag very gently, like. There's two little clips. Pop out somehow. Not too sure how yet. Hold that thought. We'll figure it out. Well, there it is. Just pull them forward like that. Can you see? Hopefully. You turn your clips. Clippy. Clippy. She doesn't want to come out, Captain. Clippy. There it is. Clippy. Clippy. Decent. So they're marked so you know where they go. So I'll set that airbag. Back here we will. <laughs> there we go. So the airbag's out of the way. So next what we want to do is four island keys. We'll yank them out because they're in my way. You probably don't have to take them out, but we're going to. Friggin' right, we're going to. Oh, God. Hold on, let me get some power. So where was I? Oh, yeah. We'll get some power tools we do. So we'll take these out. One. Two. Three. So just be sure you don't lose the springs. Take the ground off. And there we go. There it is, eh? So see all the springs on here? This is what you push, beep, beep, eh? Beep, beep. All right, it is. So now what we need to do is, we need to unplug this harness right here and have a gander to see if the other harness is here, which it is not. So we do need the harness. But I want to unplug this just in case to make sure it's pre-wired for it. So we pull this off, we'll have a look, see. And yes, it is, it's pre-wired. This is missing a few and that that's loaded. So. That's why I got this piece, because it has the harness for the controllers, right? So it's the same plug and everything, it's just one has more wires than the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one has eight. This one has seven. <laughs> so seven to nine. So, which that means is we're going to have to pull the whole steering wheel because I need this piece because it's notched for it. You can notch this one, but in months we'll use this. So we'll get the steering wheel out of the way, we will. So we'll undo the bolt. Well, that's tightening. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. So we'll loosen that off. Like so, eh? Like so. And I do have a puller for this. So we should be able to put a puller on it. I will give it a wiggle to see if it comes off, but I freaking doubt it. But you never know. Oh, there we go. She come off. Just with a few Yankees. So now that we got that off, pull all this out. So we're going to pull out these screws right here. So we'll do that right now. Which is that size. Can you see? Probably not. Here, look at my crotch. Why wouldn't you? So we'll pull up these screws. One, two, three, four. We'll set these aside, like so. Oh, we'll take that off. We'll lift this out, which it should just release. There it goes. Set that up there. That one, we gotta take off too, because there's a screw behind we need to move. So we'll pull this one off, like so. We'll unplug this, like so. And we'll set that aside. Now, there's four more screws. Decent. So now the back case will drop off. There we go. And there's a harness and everything in the back case, see? So now we can set that case down there. We'll bring in the case we got from the junkyard and we'll just slide it right in. Just like that, Captain. Make sure that's up here like so. Make sure this is out like so. And now we'll screw that onto there. Just plastic, so be gentle. So there we go. There's that back done. So now we can pretty much slide the wheel back on and work up here where we can see what we're doing. Battery's almost fucking dead on you. Why wouldn't you be? Son of a cock. Holy fuck. What? My camera's bad. It's dead. Yeah, I don't know how it's dead. It's all because of That's probably why it's fucking dead. What? 
the flying f***ing cocksucker. Oh, there's just for an extension cord? Jesus Christ. Asshole. It's literally been plugged in all f***ing day. Alright. Houston, we have power. All right, so now that that's in, where were we? All right, now that that's in, we can put the screws back in, but let's plug this in so it's out of the way. Decent, and we'll put the bolt on the old steering wheel, like so, and we'll tighten that up. Don't have to be super tight, but it's gotta be tight. All right, so there we go. So now that we're done that part, what do you think, Jim? What do you think, my fans? Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff, eh? But what do you think? Should I go with the black or should I go with the chrome? I think I'm gonna go with the black because this just wore out. We'll go with this one and we'll slap it in. Little tweaky tweaky. There we go. Give it a little snap down. There we go. We'll knock that screw out because there's a ground that we gotta put back. Oh, careful, wrong way. Put the ground back on for the horn. We do. So there we go. Slap that back on. Use it. Then we'll take this volume controller and we'll plug that in and we'll slap that back in. Hey, look at him, I'm gonna have a black steering wheel. Decent. Freaking right, it's decent. Fits like a glove cap. Put that in there like so for the horn. Can you see? Probably not. Careful. Easy. Freaking right, so that's on and they're all nice and mounted and they feel excellent. Freaking right, they feel excellent. Oh yeah, Jim. So now what we need to do is put our cage back in for the toot toot. So we gotta put the cage back in. These go on top. Always remember where they come out from. This is the ground for the horn again, or the positive, sorry, I should say. And there we go. Captain. So now we'll crank them in. We'll just start them all. So that's in. So now we can put the airbag back in. So we'll plug it in like so. Plug it in like so. There we go. We'll slide the safeties back in. Line her back up and push it down. There you go. Friggin' right. And that's all there is to it. Now we got steering wheel controls that we just gotta wire into the back of the deck. So if you got yourself an LT like I got, and you want steering wheel volume controls and skids and this and that and the other thing, just go to the junkyard and hit them up. Get yourself a steering wheel, do a quick changeover like I just did. And then you have a black steering wheel. No more faded old, dicked over old chrome. I can repaint them and use them later on because they are universal. So I can put the steering controls in there if I want. So I'll hold on to them, maybe paint them up and maybe change them out one day because that's not bad to do at all. So I'll show you them work once I get them hooked up. I could probably hook it up myself, which I might do, but I may, I need another harness for the Pioneer head unit to run into the actual circuitry for that doodad. But don't forget to subscribe and like, hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. Leave any comments below or questions if you have for me. This is just another how to do it with dirty old Bilson. Friggin' right it is. So there you go. Install steering wheel radio controls. Decent. In an 07 to 2013 Chevy or Sierra pickup truck full size. Hey, does that help? Friggin' right it does. Oh, before I go, I almost forgot. There's a part of the, remember when I told you I crashed my Mavic Air and I wasn't recording? I was recording. So I almost forgot to tell you, I want to throw it in at the end of this video. So check that out. It's not very exciting, but see how she just decided to go a different way on me. It is what it is. Friggin' right it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and until next time. You know what to do for now.